E and here, day 5 for the spoilers of Strixhaven. I don't know what's your opinion on Strixhaven are, I feel it's like we are back on Ravnica, just instead of guilds we have colleges. Anyway, let's start. Combat Professor 3 and 1 white, it's a 2-3, flying at the beginning of combat, on your turn, target creature get plus 1, plus 0 and gain vigilance until end of turn. Illustration, Historian 1 and 1 red, it's a 2-1, for 5, exile it from your graveyard, Create a tap 3-2 red white spirit creature token. Bury in books 4 and 1 blue. It's an instant. It costs 2 less to cast if it's targeted at an attacking creature. Put target creature into owner's library second from top. Curate 1 and 1 blue. It's an instant. Look at the top 2 cards of your library. Put any number of them into your graveyard and the rest back on the top of your library in any order. Draw a card. Training discovery 1 red and 1 white. You gain 2 life, then you may discard 2 cards. If you do, draw 3 cards. Relic slot 3, 1 red and 1 white. It's a 4 4. Vigilance with menace. Elemental summoning 3 and 2 hybrids mana between blue and red. It's a sorcery, it's a lesson. You can tutor these lesson cards with learn. If you don't know how to play learn, I did a tutorial explaining how this particular mechanic works. Create a 4 4 blue red elemental creature token. Campus Guide 4-2, it's a 2-1, enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, then shuffle and put that card on top. Reduce to memory, 1 and 2 white, it's a sorcery, it's a lesson, exile target non-land permanent, it controller creates a 3-2 red and white spirit creature token. Grinding Ignos 2 and 1 red, it's a 2-2, for 1 red, return it to its owner hand, add 2 colorless and 1 red mana, activate this ability only if you can cast a sorcery. Master of Symmetries 2 and 2 green, it's a 4-4. Reach, whenever a creature you control with power equal to its toughness attacks, it gains trample until end of turn. Expression Rehearsal, 1 blue and 1 red, it's a sorcery. Look at the top 3 cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, one at the bottom of your library, then exile the rest. Until end of turn, you may play the exiled card. Creative Outburst, 3 to red and 2 blue, it's an instant. These 5 damage to any target, look at the top 5 cards of your library, put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. For two hybrid mana, that's blue and red, discard it and create a treasure token. Stonebinders familiar, for one white it's a 1-1, one, one. whenever one or more cards are put into exile during your turn, put a plus one plus one counter on it. This ability triggers only once each turn. Clever Lumimancer, for one white it's a 0-1, Magecraft gets plus two plus two until end of turn. Solve the equation for two and one blue, search your library for an instant or sorcery card, reveal it and put it into your hand. Mage Hunter for three and one black it's a 3-4, whenever an opponent casts or copies an instant or sorcery spell, they lose one life. I bet for one black it's a 1-1, one, one. flying when it dies you learn. Explosive Welcome for 7 and 1 red, it's an instant, it deals 5 damage to any target and 3 damage to any other target, and you add 3 red. Ingenious Inspiration for 2 and 1 red, it's a sorcery, deals 3 damage to any target and you learn. Practical Research 3, 1 blue and 1 red, it's an instant, draw 4 cards then discard 2 cards unless you discard an instant or sorcery spell. Rota, Mercurial Artist for 1, 1 blue and 1 red, it's a 1, 4, for 2, return Rota to its owner's hand, copy target in some sorcery spell you control, you may choose new targets for the copy. Rare cards, Sparing Regimen, 2 and 1 white, it's an enchantment, enters the battlefield, learn, whenever you attack, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on target attacking creature and untap it. Flame score Celebrant, 1 and 1 red, it's a 2, 1, whenever an opponent activates an ability that isn't mana ability, it deals 1 damage to that player, for 1 and 1 red, it gets plus 2, plus 0 until end of turn. This is one of those modal double face cards, so you can choose to play Flame Scroll Celebrant, or you can choose to play Revel in Silence. For 2 white, it's an instant, your opponent can cast spells or activate Planeswalker's loyalty abilities this turn, exile it. Elemental Evoker for 4 hybrid mana between red and blue, it's a 4-4, four, four. it has Magecraft, if you don't know how to play Magecraft, I did also a tutorial explaining how this mechanic works. If you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell until end of turn, target creature you control gains. If this creature would leave the battlefield, exile it instead, and when this creature is exiled, create a 4-4 four, four, blue and red elemental creature token. Cody, Vociferous Codex, 4-3, it's a 1-4 legendary artifact creature, you can't cast permanent spells. 4. Tap, add 1 white, 1 blue, 1 black, 1 red and 1 green. When you cast your next spell this turn, exile cards from top of your library until you exile an instant or sorcery card with lesser mana value. Until end of turn, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Put each other card exile this way on the bottom of your library in random order. This particular card, this particular legendary artifact creature, I'm sure it's going to see a lot and a lot of play, especially as a commander. 
Multiple choice X and one blue. If X is one, scry one, then draw a card. If X is two, you may choose a player. They return a creature they control to its owner's hand. If X is three, create a four four blue and red elemental creature token. If X is four or more, do all the above. Bayful domain for three and one black. You may pay one and one black instead of paying its mana cost. If you pay that one and one black, opponent draws a card, exile target creature or planeswalker. This is a very, very good removal spell. And watch this card because I think this card will be quite valuable. Culmination of studies X, one blue and one red. It's a sorcery. Exile the top X cards of your library. For each land exile this way, create a treasure token. For each blue card exile this way, draw a card. For each red card exile this way, it is one damage to each opponent. Wandering Archaic for 5 generic mana, it's a 4-4. Four four. Whenever an opponent casts an instant or sorcery spell, they may pay 2. If they don't, you may copy that spell and you choose new targets for the copy. This is one of those model double face cards, so you can choose to play Wandering Archaic or you can choose to play Explore the Vast Land. For 3 generic mana, it's a sorcery. Each player look at the top 5 cards of their library, reveal a land card and or an instant or sorcery card from among them, put those cards into their hands. Each player gain 3 life. Let me end this video with the mythic card spoiled. Magma Opus 6, 1 blue and 1 red. It's an instant. It deals 4 damage divided as you choose among any number of targets. Tap 2 targets permanent. Create a 4 4 blue red elemental creature token and draw 2 cards. For 2 hybrid mana between blue and red, you discard it and create a treasure token. In my opinion, this card looks weak because of its high casting cost. But Streets Haven have certain spells, have certain cards, like a Freed Flame Painter, a card spoiled yesterday that can play this card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. And when you look at it this way, it doesn't seem that much weak. Exus Auric Overlord for 1, 1 white and 2 black, it's a 2-4 legendary creature, has double strike and magecraft, which means that when you ever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, you will return target non-legendary creature card from your graveyard to your hand. This is one of those model double-faced mythic cards, therefore you can choose to play Exus or you can choose to play Awaken the Blood Avatar for 6, 1 black and 1 red, it's a sorcery. As an additional cost to cast this spell, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. The spell costs 2 less to cast for each creature sacrifice this way. Each opponent sacrifice a creature, create a 3-6 black and red avatar creature token with haste, and whenever this creature attacks, it deals 3 damage to each opponent. In few and simple words, this sorcery may cost only 1 black and 1 red if you sacrifice 3 creatures. Galazet Prismari, one of those Elder Dragon founder of the Prismari College, for 2, 1 blue and 1 red. It's a 3-4, it has flying, enters the battlefield, create a treasure token, artifact to control, have, tap, add one mana of any color, spend this mana only to cast an instant or sorcery spell. Another Elder Dragon, Tanazir Quadrix, 3, 1 blue and 1 green, it's a 4-4, four, four, flying and trample, enters the battlefield, double the number of plus 1 plus 1 counters on target creature you control. Whenever it attacks, you may have the base power and toughness of other creatures you control became equal to Tanazirid Quadric's power and toughness until end of turn. This was the last card spoiled for today. Tune in tomorrow for more and more spoilers of Strixhaven and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.